No. <laughs> Wait, that's a cyber void terminal. Well, I'd say the odds of him being back just went from probably not to we're fucked. Waste of time. Won't budge. So what do we do? I figure there's no point trying to breach that terminal. It's operating on a completely different level. Should I go back? What do you think? Unless you're planning to smash your head through the gate, we can't really do anything to open it. Report to HQ. We need to discuss this. Any updates? Yeah, but not about the Ashura. Your failed church infiltration. What about it? I think I know someone who will be able to help you break through. I thought you were focused on the Ghost Runners. I was. It just so happens that the same person is our best bet of digging up intel on them. Who is it? An old... colleague. Do you know where to find this colleague? Got a general idea? I'm going to need you to scout out a particularly nasty part of Dharma City. Talk to me when you're ready to make the trip. I'm ready to make the trip. Great. I'll send you the intel once you're on your way. Sounds good. Talk to you soon. It's locked off. So it is. There should be three terminals somewhere nearby. Find them and you'll be able to unlock the safe house. Got it.
for the bad part of Dharma. One doesn't exclude the other. I mean, why would the gang sit in the ugly parts? To match their souls. <laughs> Poetic. It's not as bad as the cathedral one.
safe houses are there a couple they're scattered throughout the city but that's the only one big enough for kira's equipment did you ever use them i lived in one for a year hiding from you
is. Perfect. Is it purely instincts or is there a conscious effort? You asking me if I'm a machine? I know you're not. It's both. Good news, she's inside. Bad news, she can't hear me when I talk to her. That's weird. I guess that is either your hacking got rusty, or maybe someone tried breaking in before and broke something. Hard to tell. Either way, you're just gonna have to open it yourself. <laughs>
It's a fancy too.
job, I guess. Let's wrap this shit up. The faster you're dealt with, the sooner I can get back to being fine here on my own. Runner. Knew it! You here to arrest me? No. You here to kill me? Sorry, ain't happening. Damn! I'm here to ask for your help. Why didn't you just say so? I'm all about helping people. Bakunin says you know about the Cyber Void. Adrian's alive? What a crazy day! Pack up. I need you to come with me. You heard the man, Kevin. We are going on an adventure. What do you think of Kira? Let's say I'm not a fan. She seems capable. Capable, yes. Trustworthy? Not so much. We need her. I know, I know. Working with X Keys is just another one of these things we need to do. But I can't help the feeling that we're betraying what we stand for. Freedom? Yes. The Climbers are supposed to be about gaining freedom, not power or control. Or at least that used to be the case. Does he piss? Say what? You went through all this trouble to recruit her, and you didn't even talk yet? Come on, Jackie. Don't be shy.
What do you know about the Ashura? Straight to the point. I like that. The Ashura were the original Ghost Runners, a prototype series. Each had unique architecture, different skill set, different fighting style. They served on a couple of missions each, but soon after the regular GRs rolled out, they got recalled. Recalled? Well, it's a bit of an understatement. Apparently, Adam found out they'd been conspiring to kill him. He got mad, understandably, and the Ashura vanished. Vanished? As if they were never there. Even Mara wasn't sure what happened to them. Or at least that's what she claimed. There were rumors about them being destroyed, imprisoned, or escaping outside. But anyone who spread them got into trouble with the Architect himself. So... Everyone involved learned to keep their mouth shut, and the memory of the Ashura faded. What is Bushido? A safety protocol. A set of directives ingrained deep into each Ghost Runner's circuitry, meant to prevent them from going rogue. Do I have this protocol? No way! At its core, Bushido prevents GRs from harming the tower's inhabitants without a direct order from the Architect himself. And you must have killed, like, what? A couple hundred by now? Don't worry, your restraint module broke, along with most of your other features, back when you had your first run-in with the boss. How do you know so much about GRs? I was tasked with building one. So I studied every bit of data and every scrap of GR tech I could find. You built? Hell units. Well, not built as such. More like repurposed. What were they before? They were to become GR 2.0s. You probably know your main purpose was to be a vessel for Architect AI. I'm aware. The second generation bodies were meant for the boss. Wait. There's an AI based on Mara? No, she'd never agreed to create something like that. Adam had secretly scanned her brain to begin developing it, but she found out. That's actually one of the reasons she decided to remove him. You seem happy to be here. Why wouldn't I? I came with you because I wanted to. I mean, I've hacked everything there was to hack up there months ago. I get to choose between re-watching the same movies for the thousandth time and hacking a rogue AI that might be the architect? Not a hard choice. Oh, one more thing. I brought, like, my whole flat with me. And there's this one program that I'm working on lately that I think you might enjoy. Just make yourself comfortable on the, uh, gaming chair. Huh, okay. Might check it out. Cool. You okay with Kira joining us? Sure. The more the merrier. You don't feel the need to arrest her? Nah, man. She's a scientist. People like her are gonna keep sciencing no matter how fucked up the project you put in front of them is. No point in blaming them. The best you can do is put them in a cozy lab and make sure they're working on something useful to you. Mara was a scientist. Mara was a fascist. Those you put in the ground at the earliest opportunity. Which... You did. Good job. Anyway, get ready. Cause you're in for round two. This time it better work out. I'm ready. Good. Let's get to it. Who's joining us? Kira and Zoe. Why? 
Well, you have a problem with my company? Not the biggest fan. Tough luck, pal. Now move. We don't have time. Let's get to it. You're here. Not really. But then again, neither are you. Hurry it up. We don't have all day. GRs can enter Cyber Void. That used to be the case. But now, with the proper skill set and hardware, anyone can do it. And who has them? Let's see. Me. That's it, really. I've seen Zoe access a cyber like environment from a regular computer. And I've seen people licking ice cream through a window pane. It can be done, it's just not quite the same. I mean, respect to her for fixing you up as much as she did with the gear she had. Even if you are a bit. Off.
people do bad things. Worship the architect. Worship? We borrow his logo and incidentally avenged him. That's it. Guy was a narcissist with a god complex. The suckers you're offing right now are about the only kind of people naive enough to worship him. Well, them and Zoe.
interesting. It only works when you're standing on the beam.
You mentioned something about me not being able to split. Nice one, Houdini. That should do the trick. you down. The old world is gone. The key master is gone. And so are the shackles that bound you. The only thing standing between you and transcendence are your attachments. Let go. Ego. Doesn't sound right. 